हेलो वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर ममता असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम गलगोटियाज यूनिवर्सिटी इन दिस मॉड्यूल आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ इंसेक्टिसाइड्स देयर मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन दैट इज हाउ इंसेक्टिसाइड्स अफेक्ट द बायोलॉजिकल सिस्टम एंड हाउ द केस ऑफ इंसेक्टिसाइडल पॉइजनिंग इज असर्टेन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ पैटर्न ऑफ टॉक्सिसिटी कॉज लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन इंसेक्टिसाइड्स आर यूज इन एग्रीकल्चर to control the growth of insects which could harm the crop or vegetation most of them are synthetic and these are also known as agriculture poison human come in exposure to insecticide from food vegetation and from consumption of water besides worker who are engaged in their manufacturing and spreading are also at high risk what are the different modes of absorption of insecticide how insecticides enter the body to exert the toxic effects insecticides can enter the body by oral absorption through the dermal absorption by inhalation or through eye exposure how these are ingested orally these can be ingested orally by an accident due to carelessness such as eating without washing hands after using insecticide or eating fruits and vegetables that have been spread with the insecticides containing residue the severeness of toxicity depends on the duration of exposure and quantity ingested it can also be absorbed through skin which is known as a dermal absorption skin may come in contact with insecticide exposure any time while handling during its application inhalation exposure results from breathing of insecticide dust or spray particles like oral and dermal exposure inhalation exposure is more serious with the more insecticide particularly with the fumigants insecticide which are in gaseous form and especially when spreaded in a closed room eye exposure is also caused by spraying insecticides or applying insecticide in agricultural field without eye protection rubbing eyes or forehead with the contaminated gloves or hands and pouring dust granule or powder formulation without eye protection any insecticide can cause poisoning after being swallowed inhaled or absorbed through the skin generalized symptoms may include eye tearing coughing heart problems and breathing difficulties the diagnosis is based on symptoms blood test and a description of events surrounding the poisoning the properties that make insecticide deadly to insects can sometimes make them poisonous to human also most serious insecticide poisoning results from the organophosphate organochloro compounds and carbamate types of insecticides particularly when used in suicide attempts and when accidental in occupational environments organophosphate includes melathion parathion phenthion diazinen chloropyrifos serine etc organochloro compounds include DDT and BSC which are used as a general garden insecticide while GBH dieldrin etc are the other examples of this class carbamates include carbile carbofuron oxymyl etc there are other groups of insecticides also which derive from plants for example parathrine and parathroids these are other commonly used insecticides and usually are not very poisonous to humans many insecticides can cause poisoning after being swallowed inhaled or absorbed through the skin some insecticides are odorless thus the person is unaware of being exposed to them organophosphate and carbamates insecticides make certain nerves fiber erratically causing many organ to become overactive and eventually to stop functioning parathrine can occasionally cause allergic reactions parathroids are rarely cause any problems the toxicity of the particular insecticide is measured by subjecting laboratory animals usually rat mice rabbits and dogs or tissue cultures to different dose of the active ingredients and of the formulated products over the different times intervals these toxicity studies helps to estimate the risk that insecticides may cause harmful effect in humans however some people react more severely or more mildly than estimated you should be alert to your body's reaction to insecticide you are handling some people seems to be especially sensitive 
to individual insecticides or to group of similar insecticides. Insecticides can cause three types of harmful effects, acute, delayed and allergic. Acute effects are illness or injuries that may appear immediately after exposure to insecticide usually within 24 hours. Studying insecticides relative ability to cause acute effect has been the main way to assess and compare the toxic insecticides are. Acute effects can be measured more accurately than delayed effects and they are more easily diagnosed than effects that do not appear until long after the exposure. Acute effects usually are obvious and often are reversible if appropriate medical care is given prom promptly. Insecticides cause four types of acute effects, oral inhalation, skin and eyes. In acute effects, our mouth, throat and stomach can be burned severely by some insecticide. Other insecticides that you swallow will not burn your digestive system but will be absorbed and carried in your blood throughout your body and may cause harm in various ways. For some insecticides, swelling even a few drops, a splash or wiping or mouth with a contaminated glove can make you very ill or make it difficult to eat and drink. In case of acute inhalation, entire respiratory system can be burned by some insecticides, making it difficult to breathe. Other insecticides that you may inhale may not harm your respiratory system but are carried quickly in your blood throughout your whole body where they can harm. In case of acute dermal exposure, insecticides harm the skin. These insecticides may cause our skin to each blister, crack or change color. Other insecticides can pass through skin and eyes and get into the body. Once they enter in the body, these insecticides are carried throughout system where they can harm. In case of eye exposure, some insecticides that get into eyes can cause temporary or permanent blindness or severe irritation. Other insecticides may not irritate eyes but pass through eye and into body and then harm. Delayed effects are illness or injuries that do not appear immediately within 24 hours after exposure to insecticide or combination of insecticide. Delayed effects may be caused by repeated exposure to an insecticide, insecticide group or a combination of insecticides over a long period of a time or a single exposure to an insecticide or combination of insecticide that cause a harmful reaction that does not become apparent till much later. Sometimes repeated exposure to an insecticide or organ of insecticide will result in the delayed effects but a large exposure will cause an acute effect. A person who is repeatedly exposed to or more specific chemicals may become ill even though any one of the chemicals alone would have had no harmful health impact. This is known as a synergistic effect. In some cases, a single exposure to an insecticide or combination of insecticide could adversely affect the exposed person's health later. For example, large exposure to herbicides paracure may cause severe or fatal lungs injury that does not appear for 3 to 4 days after the initial exposure. After an exposure, paraquet slowly builds up in the lungs and destroys lung cells. Some kinds of harmful effects may not occur unless a certain set of circumstances is present. These effects can occur after the first exposure but the likelihood is a small, continuous or frequent exposure over a long period of a time make it more likely that all the necessary factor will be present. Some genetic changes that results in the development of cancer or other delayed effects are in this category. Types of delayed effects include chronic effects, developmental and reproductive effects and systemic effects. Chronic effects are illness or injuries that appear a long time, usually severe years after exposure to an insecticide. Some delayed effects that are suspected to result from insecticides chronic toxicity includes production of tremors that is oncogenic effects, development of cancer that is carcinogenic effects or changes in the genes or chromosomes that is mutagenic effects. Because of the time delayed between the exposure and the observable effects and because many other types of exposure may have occurred during the delay 
it is sometimes hard to identify the cause of a delayed effects although some insecticides may cause delayed effects in laboratory animal studies are in needed to determine whether these insecticides will affects human the same way when there is a clear evidence that an insecticide may cause chronic developmental reproductive or systemic effects in a humans it is essential to determine what steps are appropriate to reduce or eliminate the risk such action includes removal removing the insecticide from use requiring labeling warning statement about the possible effects requiring specific personal protective equipment or saf safety system during handling of the insecticide requiring changes in doses method or frequency of applications and waiting time before entry or harvest slaughters grazing restricting the use to certified applicators researchers and insecticides manufacturers cannot yet be sure what the delayed effects of too much exposure to individual insecticides or combination of insecticides may be allergic effects are harmful effects that some people develop in reaction to substances that do not causes the same reaction in most other people allergic reactions are not thought to occur during a person first exposure to a substance the first exposure causes the body to develop repelling response chemicals to that substance later exposure results in the allergic response this process is called sensitization and substances that cause people to become allergic to them are known as a sensitizers certain substances cause many people to develop an allergic reaction poisons ev for example causes a severe skin rash in many people other substances causes allergic reaction in only a few people turf grass for example causes a severe skin rash in relatively few people types of allergic effects may be different some people are sensitized to certain insecticides after being exposed once or a few times without effects they develop a severe allergy like response upon later exposure these allergic effects include systemic effects such as asthma or even life threatening shocks skin irritations such as rashes blisters or open sores and eye and nose irritations such as itchy watery eyes and sneezing unfortunately there is no way to tell which people may develop allergic allergies to which insecticides however certain people seems to be more chemically sensitive than others they develop an allergic response to many types of chemicals in their environment these persons may be more likely to develop allergies to insecticides typical precautionary statements on insecticides labeling includes this product may produce temporary allergic side effects characterized by redness of eyes mild bronchial irritations and redness or rashes on the exposed skin areas persons having allergic reactions should be contact should contact a physician depending on how severe the allergic reaction is persons with the allergies to certain insecticides may have to stop handling or working around those insecticides they may be unable to tolerate even uh, slight exposure sometimes person with the allergies to certain insecticides can continue to work in a situations where those insecticides are present by reducing their exposure to them now what are the generalized signs and symptoms of harmful effects there may be nausea or headache and other symptoms are vomiting or fainting can be noticed many of signs and symptoms of insecticides poisoning are similar to the signs and symptoms of other illnesses you might experience such as the flu or even a hangover if you have been working with the insecticides and then develop suspicious signs and symptoms call your physician or poison control center only physician can diagnose insecticide poisoning injuries external irritant cause redness blisters rashes and or burns on the skin and swelling a stinging sensation and burning sensation in a eyes nose mouth and throat insecticide poisoning may also cause diarrhea stomach cramps headache dizziness weakness or confusion excessive sweating chills and thirst 
chest pain, difficulty in breathing, cramps in muscles or itches all over the body. Synthetic organic insecticides can be classified into three categories, organophosphorus compound, organochloro compounds and carbamates. The first category is organophosphorus insecticides. Many organophosphate compounds are insecticides which are widely used for the con control of insects. They cause severe toxicity and even death in humans and domestic animals. Their toxicity has been recognized since the 1930s when they were developed and used as a chemical welfare agents. These are the esters of phosphoric acids and can be classified in two different classes that is alkyl phosphate and aryl phosphate. HETPP that is hexaethyl tetraphosphate, TEPP that is tetraethyl pyrophosphate, OMPA octamethyl pyrophosphoramide, demifox, malathion etc. are the examples of alkyl group while parathion, paroxon, methyl parathion, chlorothion, diazinen etc. belong to aryl phosphate group. Now what is the action mechanism of organophosphorus insecticides? Poisoning can occur from inhalation, ingestion and absorption through skin. These compounds are powerful inhibitor of cholinesterase and hence reduce its activity and results into accumulation of acetylcholine at nerves ending. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter. Due to its accumulation, it results in a hyper excitation of the voluntary and involuntary muscles. Sign and symptoms of organophosphorus insecticides poisoning have been described in a three different effects that is a muscarin like effects, nicotine like effects and on it also affects on central nerve system. In muscarin like effects it acts on a smooth muscles. Muscarine is an alkaloid that is obtained from fungus and affects the smooth muscles. It affects the bronchial tree and results in a tightness of the chest with the prolonged wheezing expiration. Wheezing expiration means respiration with the sound. Therefore, there is a discomfort or pain in chest, Dys dyspnea, froth at the mouth and nose with the cyanosis. The effects stimulate bronchial asthma. What is dyspnea? Dyspnea means difficulty in a breathing. What is cyanosis? Cyanosis means bluish coloration of the skin due to insufficient supply of uh, oxygen. It causes gastrointestinal disturbances which include anorexia, nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, epigastric tightness with the heartburn, diarrhea, tenesmus and involuntary defecation. What is anorexia? Anorexia is a loss of appetite. What is epigastric tightness? Epigastric tightness means tightness in the lining of the stomach. It also affects sweat glands which increase sweating. It also affects salivary glands and increases salivation. Lacrimal glands are also affected and results into excessive lacrimation. Tears may be red in the color due to porphyrin that is produced in a lacrimal glands. What is porphyrin? Porphyrin is an organic compound appear in a tears. It shows sickness and distress. Pupil are slightly become meiosis and later more marked meiosis is developed. It also alters the ciliary body. It also affects the ciliary body. Ciliary muscles helps the lens to focus on objects. As these are affected, it may result in blurred and dimness of vision. It also acts on urinary bladder, which may result in a frequent and involuntary micturation. It also affects the heart muscles and causes slight bradycardia. What is bradycardia? Bradycardia means uh, slow heartbeat or slow heart action. No sign and symptoms of nicotine like effects. Or no phosphorus insecticides causes paralysis of preganglionic nerves in autonomic nerve system and somatic motor nerves and causing twinging of eyelids tongue and facial muscles. It affects striated muscles which results in early fatigue, weakness of muscles of respiratory system with dyspnea and cyanosis followed by neurotrans uh, neuromuscular block and paralysis. Sympathetic ganglia is also affected which causes uh, high blood pressures. Ornophosphorus insecticides also affects central nerve system. These compound causes irritability, restlessness, anxiety, uneasiness and muscular weakness with the tremors or hands, eyelids, face 
or tongue with a convergence. It also results in mental confusion progressing to stuporness means unconsciousness. It also causes coma with the depression of respiratory and circulatory centers. Now these symptoms can be summarized as it first affects the involuntary muscles and secretory glands then voluntary muscles and finally vital brain center. Depending on route of entry the respiratory tract or gastrointestinal symptoms are more marked. Respiratory symptoms may mimic an attack of bronchial asthma as discussed earlier as it affects the bronchial muscles. Initial com complaints is a headache and a sense of tightness in the chest and dimness of vision is observed due to pinpoint pupils. In next 2 to 8 hours there is a nausea, abdominal cramps, vomiting, diarrhea, profuse sweating means excessive sweating and salivation, frequent urination and muscular twinching. These complex prominent symptoms of salivation, lacrimation, urination and defecations are sometimes called as sludge. In some cases chromogenic tears may be shed due to accumulation of porphyrin in the lacrimal glands. If poisoning is severe, pulmonary edema, coma, convulsions and possibly death may ensue. Death is generally caused by paralysis or by respiratory failure, circulatory arrest and edema of lungs or brains. Fatal dose varies from compound to compound that is when TEPP is taken intramuscularly its fatal dose is a 50 mg and when taken orally it is 100 mg. In case of parathion intramuscularly it is 80 mg and orally it is 175 mg. Likewise 60 mg intramuscularly for HETP and 350 mg orally. For OMPA it is 80 mg intramuscularly and 175 mg orally and 1 gram for both melathion and dizinin when taken orally. Fatal period is usually 1 hour to 10 days. In postmortem appearances there are signs of asphyxia. Externally the face is cyanosed. There is a froth with the blood stained at nose and mouth. A kerosene like smell may also perceive. Internally the stomach contains greenish oily substance and there may be kerosene like or garlic like smell which can be easily perceived. The mucous membrane of the stomach is congested with the patchal hemorrhages. There is a pulmonary edema and hyperemia of lungs, brain and other organs. What is hyperemia? Hyperemia means excessive accumulation of blood in part of the body such as lungs, brains etc. The content of the stomach are blood stained. The mucus is congested with the partial hemorrhages. Delayed paralysis of the extremities may found in case of parathion, melathion poisoning and there is a degeneration of motor horn cell. It resists putrefication, hence poisoning can be detected in a very old case that is in dead bodies. The viscera for chemical examination should be preserved in a saturated saline in suspected case of insecticide poisoning as it is sometimes mixed with the alcohol to mask its smell in case of homicidal poisoning. Now what is medico legal aspect of organophosphorus compounds? These are commonly used as a agricultural insecticides. These are used for committing suicide as these are easily available. They have been used for homicide by mixing with the alcohol to mask their smell. A number of accidental deaths have also been recorded through contamination and leakage of these compounds to edibles. Workers engaged in their manufacture, manufacture, packing and sprayings are at special risk of accidental poisoning. Second category is ornochloro insecticides. Ornochloro compounds are the chlorinated hydrocarbons and are also used in agriculture, in agriculture like ornophosphorus insecticides. DDT dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane BSC benzene hexachloride are used as a general garden insecticides. GBH that is gamma benzene hexachloride, dialdrine etc are the other examples of this class. Besides andrine is the most toxic among the chlorinated insecticides and is mainly applied to control the growth of insects paste of cotton, sugarcane, tobacco and paddy. Since andrine shows wide spectrum of activity against variety of plants paste it is therefore known as a plant penicillin. It is a fat soluble but water insoluble chemical having an unpleasant taste. 
इट इज स्टेबल फॉर मंथ्स टू ईयर इवन टू ईयर और इवन मोर इट इज सोल्ड इन द मार्केट एज एंड्रीन डब्ल्यू ई सिक्सटीन एंडिक्स टी वी फिफ्टी एंड टॉक्स ई सी ट्वेंटी एंड ड्रैक्स एंड विद द वेराइटी ऑफ अदर ट्रेड नेम्स इट इज एक्सटेंसिवली यूज इन इंडिया इन आंध्र प्रदेश फेयर पॉइजनिंग इज अकरिंग एट एन अलार्मिंग रेट सिंस नाइनटीन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी नाइन बोथ इन अर्बन एंड रूरल पॉपुलेशन हाउ डज अर्नो कंपाउंड अफेक्ट्स द बायोलॉजिकल सिस्टम दीज अफेक्ट्स द सोडियम कंडक्टेंस एक्रॉस द न्यूरल न्यूरोनल डैमेज एंड हैंस अफेक्ट्स द सेंटर नर्व सिस्टम एंड दे आर फॉर अफेक्ट्स द न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स टॉक्सिक इफेक्ट्स रेपिडली फॉलोज आफ्टर इंजेक्शन इनहलेशन और थ्रू स्किन एब्जॉर्बन द मेन सिम्टम्स आर सलाइवेशन वॉमिटिंग एबडोमिनल पेन ट्रेमर्स कन्वर्जेंस ऊजिंग ऑफ फाइन वाइट फ्रॉथ ओकेजनली विद द ब्लड स्टेन फ्रॉम बोथ माउथ एंड नोस्ट्रेल विद द सीवियर डिप्सनिया डिप्सनिया मीन्स डिफिकल्टी इन द ब्रीदिंग ग्रेजुअली द कन्वर्जेंस बिकम सीवियर एंड कॉन्टीन्यूस फॉलोड बाई कोमा which may terminate as a result of respiratory failure and death is causes diarrhea is not a constant feature but in some cases convulsions herald the onset of a symptom fetal dose is about 5 to 6 g and fetal period is an hour to several hours in post mortem there are signs of asphyxia since that is a cause due to respiratory failure externally kerosene like smell may be noticed emanating from the mouth and nostril Fine white froth occasionally with the blood stain is common. The face and fingernails are cyanosed within conject with conjunctivitis and dilated pupils. Internally, the respiratory passages contains frothy mucus and the mucus membrane is congested. Partial hemorrhages over the lungs and heart are common. The lungs appears large and bulky since pulmonary edema is a constant feature. The blood is dark. The mucus membrane of esophagus stomach and intestine is congested and emits kerosene like smells liver kidney and brain are also congested and in also resist putrefaction since alcohol is generally used to mask the smell of endrin the viscera for chemical examination should be preserved in saturated saline solution in suspected case of organochloroinsecticide poisoning as these are easily available and cheap these are used for suicidal purposes despite its unpleasant taste and painful death it is used for the homicidal purposes by mixing it with the alcohol especially with the toddy which mask its smell it may also be mixed with the other foods toxic dose is so small that even if the victim recognizes the smell while eating a toxic amount already swallowed and toxic symptoms are bound to ensue accidental poisoning is also occur due to contamination and leakage another category is carbamate carbamate insecticides are the derivatives of carbamic acids carbamates are commonly used as a surface spray or baits to control the household pest carbamates have wide spectrum of activity for example propoxer is a very effective against cockroaches Bendiocarp is mostly used as a turf and ornamental insecticide while methomyl is applied as a adult fly bait apocarp carbile and carbofuron etc are the other carbamates available in the markets apocarp is available with the trade name bagon carbile is sold as a savin and carbofuron is as foxtain now how carbamates acts what is their action mechanism the mode of action of carbamates insecticide is very similar to that of the organophosphate insecticides as they inhibit the activity of cholinesterase enzymes but organophosphorus compounds differ from carbamates as they itself hydrolyze from cholinesterase enzyme side now what are the signs and symptoms of their poisoning since carbamates do not penetrate the central nervous system effectively therefore its toxicity to central nervous system is very limited other manifestations are similar to the organophosphorus poisoning such as it affects bladder and kidneys and increases urination it also affects eyes ear nose and throat it also increases salivation lacrimation affects the pupils causes meiosis with the blurred visions gastrointestinal tract is also affected 
results into abdominal cramps, diarrhea, loss of appetite, nausea, vomitings, etc. It also results in slow heart rate that is bradycardia and low blood pressure. This compound also affects lungs and airways and causes dyspnea. Nervous system is also affected and causes anxiety, coma, convulsions, dizziness, headache, weakness, incoordinations, muscles twinging and slurred speech. Skin, lips and fingernails are also synosed. Primary manifestations of serious toxicity are central nervous system depressions and manifested, manifested by coma and cardiorespiratory arrest. It also causes dyspnea, bronchospasm and bronchorrhea. Bronchorrhea is the production of more than 100 ml watery sputum per day. Pulmonary edema is a other serious sign and what are the and what are the steps are to be taken for the treatment of insecticide poisoning. The steps are removal of contaminated clothing and washing of skin treatment to support breathing and heart function. Atropine is a given by vein and even with the symptoms of arnophosphate poisoning should see a doctor if an insecticide might have come into contact with the skin clothing is removed and the skin is washed. Caregivers should avoid contaminating themselves while providing care. Person should be monitored for respiratory failure and give atropine and other treatment to maintain their breathing and heart function. Atropine given by vein can relieve most of the symptoms. Paralidoxin given by vein can speed up recovery of nerve function, eliminating the cause of symptoms. Symptoms of carbamates in poisoning are relieved by atropine but usually not by paralidoxine. So by this module you would have enhanced your knowledge in regarding to various types of insecticides available and how to ascertain the case of insecticide poisoning on the basis of pattern of toxicity cause. Thank you.